turns at six, so big, 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 big surprise for me. I lost. Uh, so uh, we are going to analyze this together. You can check the score. So I had uh, fifteen thousand on the score, and uh, if you can deal five thousand eight hundred, and before two turns, yeah, he had three thousand. Um, my ally 4000 and the Mac 2000 so I was I was way way ahead in terms of knowledge I was also way way ahead thanks to Whispers of the Fallen among other things happiness we don't really care as necromancer um, before I lost my throne I was good but then I, I became bad military I was I went ahead also, and uh, before these two turns, I had uh, three times the, arm, the one army of them, and two, two point five times, uh, two times uh, the army combined. But then on the two previous turns, Evgandil um, converted many units, as you could see in my replay of the two previ previous turns, where I saw him converting units thanks to Whispers of the Fallen. But actually, I had a blind eye last turn, and that's a big mistake I made, I think, because it converted units, mind controlled them, and uh, came back west, and I didn't see him coming. In terms of domains, uh, you can see that before that turn, he had no domain, Epcandil, so he had no city uh, except his two vassals. So I had nothing to expect uh, from him in terms of attack. And that made me do this, this big mistake, and I had a big uh, domain, like 80% of the map or more. So if we come back to the map, uh, I was I was where I was. I was uh, here, so I was quite away from the cave entrance. Uh, one, two, three, four exits from the cave entrance, and uh, it was wetlands and uh, forest, uh, so difficult to access. Uh, but if Gandil managed to attack me on the north and east so I was here and attacked me here and there I guess he got some units from the inn and uh, I didn't I really didn't expect him to come because two turns ago I know he was here and the cave entrance was was there so it's quite far and you had to move through all this and it was very really far uh, but you did move that far and uh, I really didn't expect it uh, and you didn't clear these sites and it looks like he did clear some sites before attacking me he cleared this I don't understand he cleared this site before attacking me. Uh, I don't get it. This site is like very, very far. And then. He attacked this. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to pause the recording because I need to think what happened. Okay, so I'm back after discussing with some other player. Uh, I, I still don't really understand what happened because uh, on the previous turn, 35, I saw thanks to Whispers of the Fallen that Evgandil took these two sites and converted one Node Serpent and one Mammoth Rider. And this looks like it's possible that you can go on this way uh, up to there. And there, then you've got uh, the cave entrance, and then you go can go here. 
so it's possible that you've got very well placed haste berries to boost you from here to, to there but like it's something I calculated it something like 40 something hexes uh, and his units his leader his, his spiders his hero all have uh, cave, cave crawling so he needs something like um, he can move something like 10 hexes each turn, each it uh, between each each has berries. The spiders, um, because he has such two MP, so ten X is forty X is it's three has berries. But then you need one very close to the cave entrance, and then you move here, so it's four movement points. Then six because the spiders they don't have uh, the vampiric spiders they don't have forestry ah oh, they do okay so but they don't have wetland walking uh, they don't have wetland walking so it's four four so eight then six then six uh, so it's 20 movement points and then they attack and so they have only two, uh, 12 movement points inside the inside the subterranean so they need to have uh, his berries 4 or four, 5 X's away from the cave entrance so it's quite difficult I think and they are not exhausted so he didn't use death march and he cannot have death march because he's playing uh, Archdruid except if you got a secret spell but I don't think you can get death march as a secret spell and uh, from from here, I don't see any has berries, but of course, I maybe I'm missing one because I I am it's in four four. But still, like you need to go there, you and then go back, and I find it pretty complicated. And also, as I said, it converted um, two units, and we can see these two units there. And so he has these six units that he brought with him, including the node serpent. And then he also has the Mammo Trader and the Big Beetle that he had with him next the turn before. So it means he brought eight units with him, and eight units it means you need to have two headberries each time because it's two stacks. Um, I, so it's not really possible, I think. Um, I don't know. And then the Mammo Trader, if you look, is here, and if you look, is on dislikes blighted. But likes felt plain, plain, and here it's blighted felt plain, so it was here. The other wind was there, and then last stack was there. So it means he did all the way around, and I calculated it's 42 X's, and the mammoth rider has only 32. So he's missing 10 movement points. And then one more thing is um, that he needs to get many units recruited at the moon. Uh, so Dwarf Firstborn and Sphinx and they all have mind control immunity so he cannot charm them on his way so it means he bought them so it cost money and he didn't have any city so you can say he got some money from the sites he cleared okay maybe but then it's 3 C3 and maybe 4 with the ice cream but you could have mind control the ice cream but then you need to bring it here same problem as the Mammoth Rider it's not possible and he has only one in here and you've got only one T3 on the one in uh, so I don't really understand how it's possible you can have other ins on the way like this one here but then you lack movement points to bring them uh, then you've got another one here and also he, he attacked uh, my ally on the same turn with this three, these four units so from this in obviously but then what did he get the money and then again here from another inn, but where did he get the money? And I don't see his two shamans, uh, hunters that I saw earlier, so I'm a bit surprised. Where are the hunters? Um, so, uh, it's possible that he had a lot of money because he cleared a lot of sites, but then he had no income for a long time. Uh, I didn't check, uh, I didn't check his 
is uh, if, if he had wet the empire before, but the movement points look really weird. So what else can I say? I don't know. Um, so all these cities now are independent. My ally is here. Oh, sorry, is here with his leader, and he has lost his throne that was taken. Um, he has his three stacks there, but we don't know where Mac is. Probably on on my old throne. So uh, my ally can maybe win without me. It's possible. Uh, but uh, it's going to be complicated and uh, so first I'm going to ask an explanation about what happened um, because I really don't understand so it's a bit lame to lose like this but really I, I really don't understand how it's possible to move 40 axes on one round and I really didn't expect an attack so Gap told me I should not have moved with only my leader and his stack and it's probably true that's probably true but I, I was going to get back my throne in one turn and it was a good stack and I could not expect so many units popping out of nowhere so I guess I made a mistake but pretty I would like to understand what happened I hope uh, I guess at the end of the tournament, uh, uh, it's a bit disappointing. So, I don't know. Thanks for watching. I hope all these videos were useful to you. And I went to show Necromancer was really good. Uh, I lost. So, you can make your conclusions. Um, but it's, it's rare to have things like this happen, I guess. And uh, I think Necromancer is still. OK, you can see that on the score. And uh, I think it still needs nerf, even if I lose, and even if it's killed and Alex lost on, on, on the video against Tussle. I guess I will give the link to that video on my on the page. Um, so thanks, guy. I hope it was useful, useful and uh, see you on my next video on the next uh, dual tournament, which will start in about two weeks. Bye. I forgot one thing is to show the combat uh, that Cap wanted me to show, so let's have a look at the combat. Actually, I told him uh, I could have one, but actually no, I couldn't have one because uh, 18 units against 6, it's not really possible to win. Uh, so I cut the sound, bring it back. So, I, I'm encircled by units everywhere. The two benches goes to one stack each, and the rest goes to all this is hero and, and leader. Uh, but then later on in the fight, my leader goes to the side and goes to all, all of them uh, alone. I don't know why exactly. And uh, so he gets killed, and my uh, my three gets killed. And um, my two three are not full else at the beginning of the fight. And the, sp the spiders just web them and. That uh, was quite bad. Um, but if he had less units, I would have won, I guess. But I can six, uh, 18 units, a very good, very good enemy leader, and the spiders. Um, it's difficult. So very good enemy, actually. And also, a very good uh, hero with huge attack. Um, 7. 17 and 2 damage extra um, and my leader had uh, 16 defense and 13 resistance undying and uh, life steal and uh, shadow step and some nice abilities but uh, when he's circled by 4 units it's difficult for him to survive so his bench just get killed. <laughs> so the two bunches are dead. Then I killed one high health initiate with my leader by doing it. 
I have slain down a bit by doing it. Uh, 40 damage is on 3 channels. Then the dragon flyer engage the the spiders and uh, keep them uh, damage and uh, heal some some HP. This leader comes to uh, heal the shit, and they also have regrowth. You get to uh, shrine of the angel, and uh, is is uh, rogue leader backstab me and give me a damage. My second flyer gets webbed, and my third flyer strikes back, but uh, alone it's a bit difficult. Then you flank my leader on all side. So leader get flanked everywhere. Boom boom boom. And you can see he strikes at 17 and then second strike is at a 15, 32, 42 and BAM! Just this, this thing is dead. Ah no, it's not, it's not, it's not dead. It's dead but not dead, <laughs> I don't know. That's strange. Okay, now it's dead. <laughs> yeah, severely poisoned and bleeding and exposed. <laughs> Maybe it was not the same which was exposed. So yeah, the flyer is trying to fight back the difficult. My leader is fighting back but there are cohorts that are attacking on all sides. And then, boom, almost boom, killed by a goblin beetle, what a shame, so that was all, thanks.